senator from North Dakota and a member of the Senate Armed Services Committee, Senator uh, Kevin Kramer. Thank you very much for joining us. Uh, let Thank us you. know a little bit more about this, because this also is coming um, ahead of President Biden's meeting uh, scheduled for tomorrow with Xi Jinping. Well, thanks for the opportunity. And you're right, the timing is interesting, although Russia's involvement in spreading disinformation through the, uh, the non-government organizations disguised as environmental groups in, in the United States is not a new story. This is something that um, we've known for some time. In fact, in 2018, a, a House committee uh, found evidence that this was happening. The uh, Senate, under Democratic control, uh, leadership admitted as much that, that Russia was spending money in the United States to push us toward the Green New Deal. Mm. And at the same time, that opens up markets for them to sell their dirtier fuel. So th that's why I say what's not, what's not benefiting, of course, is the environment. Because frankly, opening up markets for Russia to sell its, its uh, dirty energy while we are not in that market is like taking a bath in a pig pen. It's, it's ridiculous. But what's worse, and what's really not so ironic, quite honestly, is that both Russia and the political left in the United States get to promote what they love most, and that is a social economic system. The Green New Deal is, let's face it, has always been much more about a socialist economic agenda than it has been about the environment. So, um, you know, this has been Russian collusion with the political left in the United States for, for several years, quite honestly. And mm. I think we, in, in light of this circumstance, it really does, I think, demand some sort of an investigation. Mm. So on the one hand, you're saying, why don't we uh, produce the oil here, get it out of right. the ground here, refine right. it here, instead right. of getting it from, from Russia? Um, right. But is there something they're doing that's illegal that requires an investigation? Because I think a lot of people would be on board. Yeah, let's let's do it here. Is there something that is illegal that they're doing, or is it unethical? What what's your explanation? On yeah, that? and so I don't I don't know the legality or illegality of it, Bob. Which is why I think maybe Congress is the right entity to look at this from a policy standpoint, an oversight standpoint. To the degree that our government is complicit in some of this, I mean, I think that's worth looking at. Let's face. You've got John Kerry, who is the the uh, the climate czar, the global climate czar for this administration, running around the world telling countries not to buy American fossil energy, which then forces them into the arms of other fossil energy producers like Russia or others who don't have our econo our environmental standards, don't have our labor standards, and certainly don't have our economic best interest in mind. And, and so it's just all absurd, and I think it needs to be fleshed out, quite honestly, because. He, while he's doing that, let's face it, even in the light of this Ukraine situation, just earlier this week when he was down at CIRA, uh, the CIRA uh, event down in, in Houston, the annual energy event, he, su he said out loud, on purpose, don't worry about those, basically, don't worry about those two million plus Ukrainian refugees. That's nothing compared to the hundreds of millions of, of climate refugees that are going to be the result mm. of, uh, you know, dirty air energy. Well, again, wow. that's all the more reason for the United States to produce it. Let me give you one statistic that I think is really important particularly in light of Europe's need for natural gas, especially now that, that they're cutting themselves off from Russian natural gas. Natural gas produced by Vladimir Putin's Russia and put in a pipeline and shipped to other European countries through, the, through its life cycle creates, emits 41% more greenhouse gas emissions than American natural gas produced, liquefied, and sent on a ship to those same yeah. locations. So it, mm -hmm. it only makes sense if you actually care about the environment, actually care about climate, yeah. you're going to well, want more production from the United States. And then, you know, Europe not cutting that off until 2030. And without right. secondary sanctions, you have somewhere, someone like China who can still buy the dirty Nailed oil it. from Russia. So it That's really right. doesn't do any good, our sanctions here. I do want to ask you about something else that you introduced, this, les, uh, legis this resolution to transfer MiGs immediately to Ukraine, the transfer of those MiGs and other air defense systems to Ukraine. Tell us about that. Sure. So here's what it comes down to. At every turn, our president, President Biden, has followed. He's not led. In fact, most of the time when he's done the right things, whether it's Nord Stream, Nord Stream 2 sanctions or, you know, uh, air defense systems, um, even anti-tank systems, it's always been late. And it's at, he's either had to be led by the United States Congress itself or political pressure from other countries. And, and one of the things he's been holding back on, of course, is this transfer of, of these MiGs from Poland 
to Ukraine. Now, whether or not they're, they're the thing they need at the moment, the most efficient thing they need, we can argue that all day long, but we do know this. Vladimir Zelensky wants them. They believe it would help them. And here's why I think right. it's important. Whether or not they're going to have, you know, dogfights in, in the air over the, over the skies of Ukraine or, or not, we need to deter Vladimir Putin, not wait for Russia to do something bad, and then we'll say, okay, then we'll give you these MiGs, or wait until they invade, then we'll sanction Nord Stream 2. It's, we, right. we should be deterring him with preemptive uh, action, and I think this would send a pretty strong message. Or get him thinking about what what is uh, the other side going to do? Right. right. That's All right, right. Senator What's Kevin Kramer.